हाय दिस इज अ परफेक्ट चॅनल टू लर्न क्वेरी मॅनेजमेंट टू लर्न क्लिनिकल डेटा मॅनेजमेंट थिंग्स इफ यू फॉलो माय इनपुट्स इफ यू फॉलो माय ॲडवायजेस इफ यू फॉलो माय सजेशन्स आय एम शुअर यू विल बिकम एक्सपर्ट इन क्लिनिकल डेटा मॅनेजमेंट विथ इन थ्री मंथ्स आय कॅन गिव्ह यू गॅरंटी बिकॉज आय नो ईच अँड एव्हरी टास्क इन क्लिनिकल डेटा मॅनेजमेंट आय दॅट लॅब रिकॉर्ड मॅन्युअल रिव्ह्यूज आर क्वेरी मॅनेजमेंट आर मेनी मोर ॲक्टिव्हिटीज मेट्रिक्स यू यू विल लर्न दीज थिंग्स व्हेरी क्विकली इफ यू फॉलो माय इनपुट्स ओके टू लर्न दीज थिंग्स यू नीड टू सबस्क्राईब माय चॅनल सो दॅट एव्हरी व्हिडिओ यू विल रिसीव यू डोंट मिस ए सिंगल इनपुट्स it will make you expert in your clinical data management career it will make you to it will guide it will help you to guide your career okay? okay today we are going to learn query how to write query okay before doing this you need to understand what is query query means to take answer from site or to take answer from someone some other person you need to know what is the requirement what answer you need before ready, raising the query query means either asking clarifications either asking confirmation asking questions okay getting the perfect information from other person this is called query so to write perfect query we have two documents two documents very important if you know these two documents if you understand two 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 documents you can write good query what are those one is protocol second one is ecrf completion guidelines if you perfectly understand this if you read and what is the requirement of this trial how ecrf needs to be completed how um what is protocol saying what is the requirement if you know these things you will write query text easily if you don't understand these two documents very difficult for you to create the perfect query okay so learn th- these two documents if you are a clinical data manager and today i am going to show you one example how to write query in rev generally we should not show rev but i am showing you to learn the query management um okay we'll see live in how to write query this is metadata rev this uat test we will use just for check up if you want to learn how to raise queries how to close queries how to take action before going to the production we will use uat code this is the query generally this is system query we have two types of queries one is manual query second one is system query this is system query what system query is the adverse events give diagnosis possible is recorded but other record information is missing please update in constant data as appropriate what does mean this field see this we have entered if you this one this is pretext field if you enter this field then see below this series this information needs to be entered if query rise like this this is the query text the system has fired the same way manual query also we need to raise to raise manual queries the same the what is the requirement we have to learn and the ecrf guidelines and protocol these documents if you know you can easily learn the query text many this is why i am showing the expression this ecrf means if you we have ae adverse events concomitant medication medical adver- uh, medical uh, history pages these are global global pages if you take if you go to other trial also this ecrfs are same 
if you go to any or um, any kind of trial clinical trials you will use this is globally recognized ecrfs so that is why i am saying this ecrfs this is a query text will be we have to raise queries okay and while raising queries query should be very simple and the query text should ask what is the requirement of the tcr this field these are fields okay this is no this is field we can test here whatever we want see if you give yes here this is test database i am using just for learning purpose okay the to show you query text uh, query writing method is very easy if you people will say there is a one go, one format for query writing but that is not a uh, perfect uh, one you can frame your own words and you can ask them what is the requirement of that field by using your own words whatever you write in query text other person should be able to understand then only you can give you perfect answer that is a one trick you can use in query text see again your query has fired this is called auto query the serious is yes this one serious means above field this one okay if uh, serious is yes then uh, below this information needs to be entered serious is but reason or causal relationship is missing it means this information is missing that is why query has fired if you enter data something like this yes or no query will go out this is called system queries but manual queries are same way but something different that queries uh, also same way but i cannot show you now this is how you to raise queries i hope um, this will help you while you raise queries and closing queries while you open metadata view if you have if you want to learn other ecrfs or something like any more information you want on query text you can mention in comment text so that i can show you that particular ecrf